I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, being that it's National Autism Awareness Month, and the last time I was on here and did a blog about autism, I talked about my intense interest with autism. I told you in a previous, previous video, I told you about my history, a little bit of my history, then I talked about in another video about my intense interest. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my work and what kind of struggles, the drama, basic stuff like that, give you like a short rundown. I'm not going to give you a whole how I got the job. I actually, on a YouTube channel that's been shut down that I talked about, have a video about how I got my first job on it. So I'll link that in the video below if you want to go and check that out. But I'm going to talk about what, what kind of my viewpoint was of being autistic and working, which it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep, so I figured I may as well do something productive and make a video. But, um, so let's begin. 2017, I graduated high school. I applied at the Ohio Turnpike, at the West Virginia Turnpike, Tamarack, a few small restaurants from 2017 to 2019. I apply, applied at like 10 different, 10 to 12 different places. I know it was at least 10. But over the course of at least a couple years, I applied at 10 different places, whether it was the Pennsylvania Turnpike, Ohio Turnpike, West Virginia Parkways Authority, those three main things, and then like some ma and pa restaurants and stuff like that. I did not get any phone calls back, did not get a, any interviews or set up time for an interview or anything like that. I did keep ties with some of the people and some of the restaurant people when I went to go and apply for them. They said, oh yeah, you give us your number. You'll hear from us in like two weeks. We really need people. We need somebody in two weeks, so we'll call you. I would hear things like that to, and be basically be given false hope. But anyway, finally in 2019, I got my first job. I was a housekeeper at a hotel in New Stanton. It was called the Comfort Inn. It's now a different hotel now. Something else now. But um, it was called the Comfort Inn. I did housekeeping. Now, not that anybody really knows, but housekeepers are supposed to do about 16 rooms per day, given a 30-minute time period to do each room. I was never able to really do my rooms in 30 minutes. It usually took me about 45, 45 to 50 minutes to do a room. The first time I ever did a room when I was in training all by myself without somebody working beside me took over an hour. But I got that down to like 45 minutes a room. Sometimes if the room wasn't all that messy or nothing, it'd take me about 35 minutes, but usually it took about 45 minutes. So my boss agreed to do an accommodation where I would do 10 rooms if they were checkouts. And then if I had stayovers with checkouts, I'd get 12 rooms. Well, I made that clear at a meeting, and there was this girl that kind of threw a fit about it. When I was nice enough to explain it, to go public with my coworkers about my accommodation that was given. Because usually people with disabilities, if they can do the job, but they need to be accommodated somewhat, and that's the way I was accommodated, I was accommodated like that. And I was up front with this co-worker and told her about it at the meeting and stuff. And she would make smart remarks during the summer of, Oh, that's not fair. Life's not fair. And you should, you should be able to do this, do that. If I can do this and do that, you can too. <laughs> like she'd make smart remarks like that. And then so finally one day, when I was at work... I had 13 rooms, they were all checkouts, it was even in the book that I wasn't allowed to have that many unless I had 
a few stairs thrown in because that was the accommodation. In order to have all checkouts, I had to have 10 rooms. But if I want, if they wanted me to have more than 10, I needed to have some stayovers. But I didn't have any stayovers. I had 13. This lady had 13. Then the other chick had 13. Well, actually, the other chick had 14. So I had said to the front desk person, I said, Hey, um, in the books it says that I'm only supposed to have 10 rooms since, you know, I have all checkouts. And she goes, Yeah, that's correct. I'm sorry. Let me fix that. So she gave this girl that picked on me all summer long would make these smart comments like, oh, life's not fair. Why can't you do that? I can do that. And why can't you? You know, things like that. She gave this one girl one extra room. One extra room. She gave the other girl two extra rooms because the other girl, she would always come in and complain all the time. Oh, well, I don't have enough work. I'd rather stay here all day. I don't care. But she gave this girl that nick picked at me one extra room. And I told her, well, don't tell the other girl about what the original schedule was because she'll throw a fit. Sure enough, she runs her mouth. And the other girl comes in and starts flipping out on me. Goes, this is a bunch of shit that you can't do all these rooms and blah 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 what's wrong with 13 rooms i have to do 14 now i ain't supposed to do this many well she was never told that she couldn't do 16 or more rooms but she flipped out and she threatened to walk out and my one co -worker, other co-worker said you're gonna have more rooms now and I'm thinking because I had enough of this co-worker that was picking on me which I knew we were gonna get in a big fight and I had even told my boss about her smart comments throughout the summer my boss pretty much did nothing but I knew a big fight which was this day was gonna happen and so uh she starts flipping out on me and goes crazy and says, well, I'm leaving. I'm not staying here for today. I'm walking out. And my other co-worker who liked to cause drama with me too and pretty much used me, um, she uh, basically said, well, now you're going to have more rooms. I'm like, whatever. I guess they're just going to have to put up with me work until 8 or 9 o'clock at night, considering they know I can't do this many rooms at once that that takes all day. But then she still starts bitching. Well, I don't want to use profanities, but still starts complaining at me. I can't believe you can't do it. Like I said, life's not fair, blah, blah, blah. And I got into her face and I said to her, you were told at that meeting I was nice enough to tell you about what my accommodation was because of my autism and because of the fact that I work slower. You were told, so don't get me going. And then she finally stopped and finally we worked out a thing where I had eight rooms, she had eight rooms. The uh, other co-worker that was doing breakfast called in our main boss to come in. So she ended up with eight rooms too. All because that one lady who picked on me throughout the summer threw a fit about one extra room. One little extra room. And then before that throughout the summer I usually would be behind everyone else regardless of having 10 rooms or not. So people, my co-workers, would have to come and help me with my work. And I was even given a timer to try to keep time, keep the time of working, but that really didn't seem to help. When I did breakfast, another job that I did, which was at the same hotel, I did breakfast. The maximum number of rooms I did was 35. I would occasionally still have somebody who used to do breakfast who worked in front desk when she had a moment. She'd sometimes come over and help me refill coffee and keep up, in a sense. Not that I couldn't do the job, it's just I needed a little push, a little help. Then, pretty much in November of 2020, on November 13th, 2020, I pretty much got into it with my boss. I had 10 rooms. This other lady had nine. She pretty much had all the stayovers. Mine were all checkouts. This other lady that I said in the previous, the 
a little bit of good that doesn't really care how long she stays. Supposedly, she didn't want to come and help me at all. So it was three o'clock in the afternoon. I had took took my shoes off and had sat down in my one room that I like for just five for just a five minute break. I shut the door too so that way nobody could see me. But then my boss comes up and goes, Well, how much stuff do you gotta do left? I'm like, Well, this is my last room, all I gotta do is dust and sweep and then I'm out of here. She goes, Okay. And then as I'm wiping the mirror, she goes, she goes down the hall for something. I get up and start wiping the mirror, and as she comes back over, she goes, "Give me your, give me your housekeeping paper. You're well behind on time, dear." Like she just has a cocky, rude attitude, kind of like that chick over the summer did, which wasn't really like her. She just started basically throughout the, the after that fight with that chick more or less kind of just started basically taking her anger what her boss was doing out on me it's like i was the target so she was taking her anger out on me and you know because i had another job lined up which i ended up getting a job at the new stanton service plaza i ended up quitting because of her cocky attitude even though i didn't want to quit in a way i kind of liked the hotel but i moved on to the new stanton plaza don't think i told them that i was autistic but the nice thing about this is i cleaned the bathroom i my job included cleaning the bathrooms cleaning the lobby when somebody would sit wiping doors taking out some garbage stocking the bathroom area that's what it mostly included just mainly cleaning the lobby area and the women's bathroom but and it was not timed i had a full eight hour shift i could clean whatever area i wanted for as ever long as it took me as long as it didn't take me all day to wipe tables i was fine but i had issues yet again with my co-workers my boss big boss was an asshole did not really care about customer service because me and him didn't socialize right and because of him and because of drama with another co-worker at the plaza i quit there within a month I couldn't handle it. I couldn't figure out how to socialize with this guy. This guy didn't come to me and explain nothing to me. I would always hear it secondhand through other co-workers. He would never get off his butt to explain nothing. So I just couldn't handle the fact, handle it. So I quit. And so basically at this point, which I applied in September 2021 to work with the West Virginia Parkways Authority. I had gotten an interview, but was rejected. They never really said why. I just wasn't hired. Even though they really enjoyed, I really felt like they enjoyed the interview, but I don't know. What I do know is based on what I have experienced with working, I can handle work. It's just the socialization with co-workers, being autistic, I've noticed that doesn't fly well. I don't know how to socialize with co-workers all that well, but I can hold down. Like, if you told me, okay, your job description included A, B, C, and D, with reasonable accommodation, I could do that. But it, the, as, it, as it comes with the social aspect of it, like includes a b c d and then e includes socializing with co-workers that's where i know i struggle being autistic so basically this is a 14 minute video this is kind of a brief rundown of kind of gives you an idea about my work a little bit knowing that for the hotel I needed a lot of accommodation, but with the plaza being that I had eight hours a day off the board, no time frame, no rush, I didn't need accommodation. So that's pretty much my work history. I can work. I just, depending on the job, need accommodation and I need help with socialization with coworkers. 
but yeah, that's basically what it's like to be autistic and have a job. <laughs> will work. That's basically my history with that. I can show you a video in my other YouTube channel. Like I said, I'll link it down below of how I got the job at the hotel. So that way you can kind of get up to speed, know a little bit more about it. But until next time, if you have any more questions or want more information, comment down below and I'll do future videos related to this. I'll make a I'll make a playlist if you want to see talking about things that happen that I recall at work if you want to see. But this kind of gives you a summary of what it's like to be autistic and working. And I'm hoping to plan on doing it another video or two about autism before April ends. It's like April 20th, where have I been? But that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. This will be in the autistic playlist, which I'll link down below. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for my blog or my next video on autism.